parasites. if you could feel that but when they look up and you suddenly see the eyes you just get this little skip in your heart Vixen do you still get that huh? Yeah. and they suddenly look towards you and you're just like it's just like <gasps> and they just breathe in a little deeper there's just yeah magical doing a proper grooming session there, cleaning himself, he's licking, what is that, his very upper leg, close to the chest. Look at the colour on his neck there. Sort of slightly darker line running down the ridge of his neck. Look at the markings on it. And those black spots become more concentrated around the head. And you can see a bit of the oh, those eyes again. And you can see behind the ears a little bit, lower down, darker areas, long whiskers, and those eyes. Look at that. something like that, if you look into eyes like that and you don't find it absolutely beautiful, then uh, to quote someone, you need to go sit under a very big tree somewhere and think for a long time. It was in a different context, but uh, something that Led Hamilton once said, and I thought it was very beautifully and accurately said. If you miss the beauty in nature, especially when you look at things that are so awesome and so awesomely inspiring as a leopard, or in that case he was talking about beautiful waves in the ocean, a stunning sunset or a desert landscape in the moonlight. When you look at those kind of things and you don't find it inspirational and beautiful, you need to go find yourself a peaceful, quiet place and spend some time alone and think about things. Because it is absolutely magical. What we're looking at here at the moment something that hopefully will be around forever in the experience sense of the word. Hopefully our children and our children's children will be able to experience things like this. I certainly hope mine does one day. Or ours. As you know, Scott.
looking around again. I'd expect him to maybe move on again soon. He's just done a very, very good grooming session there. But what a perfect place for us as well. We're sitting a little bit downstream from him if you want. So we're a little bit lower. So you really get that nice low level look at him. Oh, look at the belly. Maybe he's going to do a bit of a rollover. <laughs> like I said, there's that very soft green grass the way he's lying. I'm sure the texture of it combined with the cool sand that it's growing in is uh, something he's enjoying as well. You can also see it's getting dark around us now, the evening is approaching. Even though the sun hasn't set yet, we've got very thick cloud coming in. And uh, because of that, that pupil is getting bigger and bigger. Now at night, once it's fully dark, that whole eye will almost be black. The, the iris opens up all the way. And you get this very dark looking, almost black eye. And no matter how many spots and dots and rosettes and if you want to call all the markings on a leopard's body on his coat, no matter how many of those, that eye always jumps out at you. himself a fly, trying to at least. Oh, look at that eye again. Sorry if I repeat myself, sometimes I tend to do that. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you to, it's the most natural, instinctive thing we look at, but it is very striking. It's the first thing that pops into my mind to say when I look at it. Maybe I should just be quiet a little bit and enjoy this with you. Hard to be quiet when you're so excited though. <laughs> Start for the Zingwe, where are you now? Oh, look at that.